Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Bergamo. The town has two centers, Chita Alta, a hilltop medieval town, surrounded by 16th century defensive walls, and the Chita Basa. The two parts of the town are connected by funicular, roads, and footpaths. The upper city, surrounded by Venetian walls built in the 16th century, forms the historic center of Bergamo. Notable buildings within the upper city include, Cittadella, built under the rule of the Visconti in the mid-14th century. Piazza Vecchia Palazzo della Ragione. This was the seat of the administration of the city in the medieval municipal period. Built in the 12th century, it was revamped in the late 16th century by Pietro Isabello. The facade has the line of St. Mark over a mullion window, testifying to the long period of Venetian rule. The atrium has a well-preserved 18th-century sundial. Palazzo Nuovo. It was designed by Vincenzo Scamazzi in the early 17th century and completed in 1928. Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore. It was built from 1137 on the site of a previous religious edifice of the 7th century. Construction continued until the 15th century. Of this first building the external Romanesque structure and the Greek cross plan remain. The interior was extensively modified in the 16th and 17th centuries. Noteworthy are the Great Crucifix and the Tomb of Gaetano Donizetti. Capella Coleoni, annexed to Santa Maria Maggiore, is a masterwork of Renaissance architecture and decorative art. It contains the tomb of Bartolomeo Coleoni. Battistero, an elegant octagonal building dating from 1340. Bergamo Cathedral. It was built in the late 17th century with later modifications. Bracca. It was begun in 1331 on the hill of Santufemia by William of Castel Barco, vicar of John of Bohemia, and later completed by Aswan Visconti. A wider citadel was added, but is now partly lost. San Michele al Pozzo Bianco. Built in the 12th century, this church contains several frescoes from the 12th to the 16th centuries, including paintings by Lorenzo Lotto. Museo Civico or Logico. It is housed in the Cittadella. Museo di Science Naturale Enrico Caffi. It is housed in the Cittadella. Ordo Botanico di Bergamo Lorenzo Rota. The lower city is the modern center of Bergamo. At the end of the 19th century Città Bassa was composed of residential neighborhoods built along the main roads that linked Bergamo to the other cities of Lombardy. The main boroughs were Borgo Palazzo along the road to Brescia, Borgo San Leonardo along the road to Milan and Borgo Santa Caterina along the road to Serio Valley. The city rapidly expanded during the 20th century. In the first decades, the municipality erected major buildings like the new courthouse and various administrative offices in the lower part of Bergamo in order to create a new center of the city. After World War II many residential buildings were constructed in the lower part of the city which are now divided into 25 neighborhoods, Bacalione, Borgo Palazzo, Borgo Santa Caterina, Campagnola, Carnovale, Celadina, Centro Papa Giovanni 23, Centro Pignolo, Centro Sant'Alessandro, Città Alta Coli Colonola, Conca Fiorita, Gromello del Piano, Longuelo Loreto, Malpensita, Monterosso, Ridana, San Paolo, San Tommaso de Calvi, Santa Lucia, Valtes San Colombano, Valverde con Valtes Sant'Antonio, Bellagio degli Spasi. The most relevant sites are Academia Carrera Galleria d'Art Moderna e Contemporanea.